Hey guys, Bing here. Um, today I'm uh, I'm going to show you how to model quickly model this shape. Okay, so let's start. So first, uh, create a project. So this is a project, and then before we start the model in place mass, I'm going to just place some uh, column. Okay, so column, and also um, I'm going to going to load a. So maybe this this column. So because it's it's easier for me to place a point on it. So first, I'm going to place some uh, two or three 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 column, columns. So one, two, three. Okay. So let's go to 3D view, and I'll increase the height of this one to 10 meter. So yeah. So I think that's about. It now let's go to a model in place and create a mass. Okay, and okay, and then reference line and then spline through points and then place the first point on the top of this uh, column and the second point on the top of this one. Okay, escape. So now we have this reference sign so we need another one okay so reference sign spline through points top of this column and then the bottom of this column uh hang on. won't let me to pick the point let me try sc yeah sc at least we can pick the center point of this uh, arc so escape so now we have two reference lines. One is this one, and the other one is a vertical one. So select these two reference line, create form. So and then pick this. So now we have this shape. Okay. So if 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 we go back to that, so we probably need to adjust them. So let's go to uh, actually I'll use WT WT. So we can so we can see this is a floor plan. This is 3D view. So finish this mess. Okay. So select this column. So and use your keyboard to move this column. So you can see you can adjust this, and then same just this column. You can also select this col column and change the height. Okay. So let me have a look at this one. Maybe I'll just move this away a little bit. I think that's it. So now you can. Uh, so let's let's give it a material. So go edit uh, in play. Ed, sorry, edit this uh, mess and then see you can you can give it a material. So let's just quickly. Um, I'm going to quickly. Create a new material. Let's call it. Uh, oh, sorry, wrong one. New material. Okay. So go to appearance. Click on this. Uh, replace this asset. Go to appearance library. So on the metal, you should be able to find some perforated. Uh, maybe something like this and also um, when you trying to find some uh, material you can always drag this down so it become bigger so it's easier to see the difference okay so and also you can change the scene so change it to this looks like the hole is quite small so you can let me just drag this away a little bit and then so you can so for this one, for for example this one let me try this one I'll change back the to that it's okay I'll change to cube again um, still the it's very small uh, what we can do is go on, click on this image bump this is and then you, you will see 10 mil from the here to here which means this hole is very small like only five mil. So what I'm going to do is I'll change this to maybe 50. Okay, so down. And also we need to uh, click on this cutout map and change this to match the 
match the relief pattern down. So now you can see it's 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 bigger, the hole is bigger. So okay. Now if I change to realistic, so you will see if you zoom in enough, so you will see this. Okay, so and and it also if you want to uh, instead of just just one um, material, you can also use uh, create panels. So so what you can do is divide surface, okay, and then so currently it's no pattern, so it's still curved. But if you change this to so for example a rectangle, so you will see it becomes flat panel, and also. Um, let me see if I can change the material. So you can change the material here, I think. Uh, looks like, hang on. Um, no. No. Uh, what you need to do is you will need to create a new. So let's create a, a curtain panel pattern based. And then, so select this full reference line and create, create a face. Okay, so you can also create solid, but here I'm just going to uh, just use uh, just face, and also you can create uh, create create a material parameter. So okay, okay, and then load this into that uh, project, and then we will be able to select this, change this to this. Okay, so now if you select this one, edit type. So you will be able to pick the material. So let's just pick this new material and OK and OK. So now you can see instead of have you know just one um, uh, flat uh, piece of material, so now we have multiple uh, panels instead. So you can also change the this. So for example, country it's 10 by 10. So you can use a uh, Size. So, for example, if I want to be um, maximum 2400 this way, okay. And also for the horizontal, I want it to be 1200 maximum. So, so that's it. Okay. So now, if I, you can still change if you want to check this pattern. So it will go back to the the previous very uh, flat uh, piece of uh, face. So, hang on. Let me see. Uh, let me check. How can I give it a material? Oh, sorry. So we need to. I think we need to click on surface, and then check the original surface, and then give it a material here. So, okay. And also, you you have an option to hide this U grid and V grid. So. See, they are different. So this is just very uh, curved, one piece of uh, material, and here that's multiple material, flat material. Oh, sorry, flat panels. Okay. So, and then let's do uh, let's 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 do the rest of this. So, um, what we need to do is let's finish this mess first, and then go to floor plan. So, maybe uh, actually. Maybe just use the side plan so so we can see from the top. So WT again. So okay. So what I'm going to do is I'll draw some detail line. Okay, use spline. So I guess this. Um, so I guess this edge will go roughly maybe uh, something like this. Okay, and I'll draw another from here, and maybe go. Some Something like this. So you can so let's just make adjust it a little bit. So um, okay. So yeah, it's I know it's quite ugly, but yeah, just pretend it's a very nice shape. Okay. So uh, maybe and also when you uh, when you Quick tip, okay. Quick tip. When you adjust spline, so if you drag, so see if you drag this endpoint, you will, you will adjust the whole spline, 
and if you tap and drag you will only adjust the last point okay so that's that's it so now I'm going to um, place some more column okay so I'll first I'm going to copy this one so CC and roughly just play along uh, this spline so I'm going to use uh, multiple uh, I guess I'll place one two three four five okay so and then I'll just CC this one say similar so match that one maybe roughly about well, here one two three four five oh hang on six so maybe I need another one here okay so now let's go to 3d view and we have all these columns so we maybe we can change the height these uh, the height of this column a little bit so I'll just roughly do it here so 10 and maybe I'll change this to uh, 7 oh sorry not 70 7 maybe this become a 5 okay so now let's go back into this mess so edit in place then place reference line spline through points so now I'm going to place some uh, some reference line so on top of this and on top of this escape top of this top of this escape top of this top of this escape top of this uh, where the other one well, that's okay uh, looks like oh yeah this 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 two here so um, spline top of this to top of this and top of this and top of this okay looks like this I need to be adjust a little bit because I don't think uh, we will be able to uh, create um, a surface through this but just let, let let's just try okay so first I'm going to start from this reference line so sometimes you it won't let you to create one face uh, actually it, did, it works but no it's not right that's fine just let's uh, control Z go back so we are going to do it this, um, not one at once just do it uh, slowly okay so and then select this face and select this reference line and create form okay so select this face select this reference line create form yeah select this face select this reference line create form uh, the last one's not work but that's fine what we can do is so uh, we can um, so let's finish this mess okay so I'm going to adjust this column a little bit so with it probably um, will understand what we are going uh, what we going to do with this so I'm going to just move these two column just next to this edge okay so now let's go back to this mass and then select this mass and select this reference line create form yep so this time it works so now I can finish mass and then adjust this column back so and okay so now you can just um, adjust all the columns so for example the height of these columns and the location of these columns and the mass will follow these okay so yeah it's quite ugly but um, maybe change this height to 8 meter high yeah something like that so yeah looks looks better okay so I'll just hang on, close this one so um, yeah and once you are happy with your shape you can 
you can either uh, give it no sorry edit in place you can either give it a material so for example like this so this is one single piece of uh, mass or you can divide surface and then you can um, use adjust the number so for example maybe 20 or maybe uh, maybe six something like that and then you can um, use this family so because previously we set the material of this family so that's it and also um, I, s I can see those columns looks like that so yeah it's quite easy actually you can just you can either mm, try to model some uh, adaptive family or even even just um, sweep and maybe some height parameter so okay so I'll leave it to you and uh, that's it for today so okay so if you have any question please let me know so let me let me just change this height a little bit to 10 meter Okay, so that's it. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Yeah, of course you can you can hide how these columns once you finish and then place those fancy one. Okay, so bye.